What is going on guys my name is Mehul and welcome to your fourth TypeScript tutorial in which I'll be showing you how to set up your built environment with TypeScript. Now the good thing about this plugin about this TypeScript sublime text plugin is that you don't need to leave your sublime text anymore for any sort of development so you don't need to go to command line to compile and build you can do all of that from your sublime text only. So what I want to do is let's just say I want to console log this file uh, let's just say hello there and what I want to do is that I want to um, you know just compile this file so what I'll do is I'll hit control and B so as you can see down here it shows me build parameters just hit enter because I don't want any parameters and it creates a new file 4.js so as you can see 4.js is technically the same file because there's not a anything to compile which there's nothing that I've written in TypeScript which is not available in JavaScript so it shows me finished in one second as well and uh, what I want to do is that it is kind of when you have a lot of code down here it is kind of tedious to go to individual file and see it so what we can do is we can actually split screens in sublime text and to do that hit shift alt and 2 now what it does is that it creates another screen right here so I can open this .js file in this window and I can still work with my .ts file in this window now shift alt 3 will give you 3 windows 4 will give you 4 windows 5 will give you 5 windows and so on and so forth so you can do something like that now I'll just keep it to 2 windows for now and uh, yeah so if I type like um, some wrong JavaScript console X dot log then as you can see if I hit control B hit enter it shows me an error as well so it says me error cannot file name console X but it still compiles into JavaScript so one thing you have to remember is that even if your JavaScript or technically your TypeScript is invalid it will still always compile into a JavaScript which might or might not work so if you are just you know just loosely coding in JavaScript then TypeScript will get you tight so that's all how you can set up your development environment with TypeScript and you can see that I only need to edit this file not this one because once I build this file this file automatically gets edited so yeah so that's pretty much it and from the next tutorial onwards we'll be making use of TypeScript and would be actually writing a hello world program with TypeScript so that's all and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching